Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching Mainframe Tutorials CICS of part 13. So in this video, we will go, I, will, I will be going to talk or explain about how to pass a control from one program to another program. This is very, this would be a useful and important video. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, look into the more details about this how to pass a control from one program to another program there are two ways of doing it one is through XCTL and link let's see what is XCTL and what is link what is XCTL pass the control from one program to another program and uh, this is to pass the control from one program to another program and we are expected to return the control back uh, to original program so note we can get back the control based on request so normally uh, this is to just to pass the control from one program to another program and just stop it over there so but based on the conditions you can uh, get back that control to the original program okay it is mainly used for uh, where it is used this is mainly used for mini driven programs and screen based programs it doesn't hold any resources syntax uh, you have to write it like XCTL program and the program name so what you are trying to do is uh, in the in your program the, you have two programs program 1 and program 2 so the program in the pro you want to jump from program 1 to another program 2 where actually it is sending a map or it is uh, showing you a list of menu driven uh, menu driven map it is trying, trying to trend a menu driven map so you want to link it I mean you want to get a connection to to that program or you want to control you want to move this control from one program to another program so whenever you encounters XCTL and program 1 through program 2 it directly jump to that particular program and whatever the activity or whatever the step is happened there so it will try to execute those things so in this scenario it is trying to send a map which is having a menu list of menu items so based on that uh, based on the activity performed it is going to take the particular action so this is all this is about the XCTL so this is one of the activity to pass a control from one program to another program so next we will be seeing a link what is link it transfer the control from one program to another program and get back the control uh, to original program automatically so no need to uh, code an ex, uh, extra conditions to supply so but it uh, get back control to original program automatically it is mainly used for validation of programs and also used for complex business functions and so on so it holds the resources whereas XCTL doesn't hold the resources it just give uh, just it is connected to a program too okay so this would be the example of this link uh, program 1 and program 2 so exit CICS link uh, program uh, so you're trying to link this program 1 from this program 1 to program 2 so this is the code you have to do the, the, the it might be there might be a business logic over here and uh, once the business logic is calculated and done completed it can, the, the control will return back to the original program or these particular steps so this is the, the basic difference that is uh, link will hold the resources whereas XCTL will not hold the resources so this is about the theoretical part of uh, how to pass a control from one program to another program I would be coming with the uh, example uh, two different after uh, two to three different examples you how to work, how to use is XCTL in the online uh, the, which would be in my videos uh, tutorial of practical sessions so which I which, which I just started uploading those videos so you can watch those uh, you can watch these XCTL and link programs in my videos so Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like this video, kindly subscribe, share or comment on my YouTube channel. So have a great and pleasureful day.